ladies and gentlemen. It's Greg here again with an, in -kit, an inboxing of a uh, an Academy German Tiger One early production version with uh, interior. It's going to be a buddy build between me, Jack, and Paul. I say I'll leave their uh, YouTube links in the description below at the end. So this arrived yesterday. I believe Paul's is uh, here as well. I'm not too sure. I think he said it might be there at the post office. So let's have a quick look through this. It's an, I think it's an oldish kit. I don't think it's too particularly too uh, too new. I've heard people saying it's inaccurate, this, that, and the other, but I'm fine with that. I have no problems at all as long as it resembles a Tiger tank and not one of these rivet counters who says as the nut on the left is two centimeters small. All this crap it just bores me to tears. I'm here to enjoy building kits, not to be told it's wrong. So that's my little rant over with. So let's have a look at the box. I have a nice, nice uh, picture of the of the Tiger at the front from the Academy on a 35 scale, and uh, on the box side, let's have a look. We have uh, some of the kit when it's being built with the interior. Well, it looks pretty nice to me. I have no nothing wrong with that as far as I'm concerned. And the price was twenty. I think it was what twenty-two quid, twenty-three quid for this off eBay. Can't believe it. I well, snap one up straight away. So yeah, that's that side. On the on the usual ends, we've got the uh, the picture of the thing and a little uh, made model at the bottom. And the uh, the kit number is one three two three nine. And on the other side again, we have. The two variants that we can make, I presume. This kit is uh, one model. Includes one tack, obviously, but it's showing you what you can be done and different variations on that. So that's quite nice. Looking forward to it. And then obviously, it says a fully detailed crew compartment and turret interior, visible under op optimal position, deck panels. Highly detailed engine and transmission, visible under optimal uh, position arches, individual early style tread blocks, uh, optional use of Fifel air filters, photo etch engine grill. So there's a bit of photo etch in there as well, so let's, without further ado, let's have a look what we get inside. It's quite a large box, quite a deep box, so let's have a go for it. And I'll just do it the way I normally do it. Let's have a bit of usual. Check a little part before unsealing, which is impossible, I would have thought, because you need to check them all if they're all there. So, how would you know if you don't open them? Right, so the first sprue I'll take out of the box, or the first um, bag I'll take out of the box, we have. Uh, where's my knife gone? Never, never find it where I need it. We have two different sprues in here, but I think um, by looking at it, I think a lot of the grey is for the interior of the tank and obviously the, uh, the creamy browny colour is for the uh, external of the tank so we'll just, have, we'll just go through them as normal let's see what we've got in there first put that sprue to there so the first sprue we have is uh, it looks like part of the breach and the actual of the turret one thing and another nice markings on the turret floor nice uh, checker plate really quite nicely detailed same with the rest of the parts. It says, when was this made? Let me have a quick look. 19... I can't even really see me reading glasses. I think it's 1996 it says. So I say it's, it's, you know, it's a fair age all. It's a fair age, but it's decent quality. Well, I think it is, isn't it? You know, obviously we've got some jerry cans there and other bits and pieces for the interior. Part of the gun, the gun breech. All that kind of stuff. Not no stupid flash or injection pin marks anywhere. What there is, they're on the rear. So there we go. I'll just say on that bit of sprue. It says Tiger One 35th early version. So that's that sprue. Very nicely detailed for the interior. I can't quite be with that. Nothing wrong with that. And then in the same bag was the uh, was the turret, which again is the usual sort of face, quite nicely detailed, got a nice bit of weld weld seams on there as well. 
on the side. I think it gives you a couple of options by looking at it. I think you put one for the uh, pistol port can be taken out. I think I'm not too sure, but it might be the other kit. But there again, the detail is quite good. Two two piece barrel, no problem to get the seam out of that. About the mantlet, two different mantlets there as well. So we shall see. Cupola, storage bins. Looks like the uh, smoke grenades, smoke launchers on there as well. You see them there. And see, there's no flash anywhere on there at all. Got a little bit there. Look on the sprue. But uh, detail again is quite good. Nothing wrong with the detail. It's fine. It's fine for me. And I'll say the, the rear where all the uh, we have the turret interior, which is quite nice again. And on the top of the uh, top of the turret, they've still got the interior again, and the hatches look really nice. Really look nice. The real inside of the hatches look really really nice. No complaints at all. Right, so that was the first sprue. Let's move on to the second one. And there again we have a grey sprue and a creamy coloured, buffy colour, whatever you want to call it. Sprue again. So we have more, more interior again. There again, lovely detail. I think this is the same again. Yeah, it's 1996. Nice, nice detail again. Nothing wrong with that detailing for me. I'm quite very happy with that. All interior, very nice. Yeah, it'll look nice when it's all painted up and looked. Looks like part of the uh, engine and transmission, I think. I'm not too sure, but there again, nicely detailed. No flash, no stupid injection marks where they shouldn't be, and where they are, but on the rear. So there we go again. Nice detail again. Very happy indeed. You know, for twenty odd quid, it's a bargain. It really is a bargain. Right. So that's another part of the uh, interior, and then we have the small exterior. We have the uh, fifles and the uh, other bits and pieces, hatches, um, some of the pioneer tools, axes. Nice detail. Obviously, there's two, two different versions for the fifles to go on. Uh, the jack block there is quite nicely detailed. Hatches again. Some little bits and pieces. Can't, can't, there's the jack. Jack's in one piece. Not really bothered if it's twenty pieces, but I like the one in. Uh, Quite nicely detailed, no complaints again. There we've got the uh, bolt cutters and things. So you can get the uh, nice bit of texture on the on the uh, on the jack block. Again, no flash or anything like that. Very pleased with that. So that's another sprue. There's quite a few in this box, as you would, as you, as you would imagine. We've been a uh, an interior one, right? So I think these two, oh yeah, these two are the same. So we'll get, we'll get one out, or we'll have to get both out. I don't think it'll come out without the other one. Yeah, these two are exactly the same. So this is uh, sprue E, and there again we have a lot of nice, nicely detailed parts. The, uh, the fans on the uh, air cleaners and things like that. So I think it's for the air cleaner. Oh, the engine. Sorry, the engine. Nicely detailed again. The river, uh, the um, cover for the uh, exhaust. Nicely textured. A bit of texture on there. You can quite pick it up. Nice bit of texture. On there, not taking a wash night. Well, probably won't see them, but it's still nice to have that option to be there in case you want to leave a uh, an exhaust guard off. 
nice engine covers again, sorry, um, grill covers again. Nicely, nicely, uh, nicely moulded. Yeah, it's like the fuel, it's like the fuel, um, fuel drum for the, inter for the interior. A little bit. So we've got the uh, suspension arms and then the fenders and the. Uh, Yeah, just a little bit and pieces, a little bit of things in there to go on the interior, little um what are like little ammo boxes or little uh, ammo pouches and things like that. I think they are, I'm too sure, but they're, they're not too badly detailed again. So that was two sprues exactly the same. One for each side, one for the dooms. Which will pop that down there as well. Right, we'll, take, we'll go for the low, we'll go for this big, the big ladder, we'll get them out of the way first. So obviously we have, this is the uh, lower hull. Take that for now. Nicely detailed inside again, well obviously it's going to have to have some detail because it's uh, internal. Go for the... Uh, Hatches at the bottom, a little bit of flash just on the corner there. But come off with your finger. So that's the interior of it. It's quite nice. And the, very, and the outside is uh, nicely moulded again. Nice, a nice weld seam right along. If you can quite see that, let me just see. I'll tip it up slightly. Low. Just underneath. Where we go? Where we go? Underneath. There we go. And again on the bottom. Not much on the bottom. Just giving you the date it was let's have a look what does it say tiger one th one thirty fifth early version made in Korea in nineteen ninety six so you know it's fairly old but it's still nicely detailed you know, nice and solid plastic as well you know, nice and uh, heavy and these are the uh, pipes for the fifles for the uh, to take the uh, the air those things are nicely moulded. Nice bit of texture on those again. Sprue X. So that's that. I'll keep that together inside there so we don't lose them. Then we have two sprues again in here. Uh, obviously it's the running gear, the wheels, poly caps. So let's see if I can just get one out of the bog this time without taking the other one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. So we've got the usual poly cups. Yeah, come in very handy for taking the wheels off and on. Absolutely brilliant. Love that. Love that idea. Right, and then we have the uh, the, the running wheels and the sprockets and the uh, return idler, all nicely detailed. Again, it's giving you two options, I think. And obviously, there uh, we have the. Uh, The ammunition for the V88. Quite a few there. Sprockets are nicely detailed. There we are. They're nicely detailed. As, as well as the uh, return idle, obviously, the transmission pass for the. Uh, God, mine's gone blank. For the sprocket. <laughs> They're nicely detailed on the wheels as well, they're quite nicely detailed on the wheels. There's a bit of black on there, I don't know what that is though, but... Mm, wipes off in here, so I don't know what it was. It was just something off the, uh, the moulds. Nothing, and uh, even the reverse of them, nicely detailed as well. So you, you know, I can see the insides of the uh, injection mask, but you can't see them when the wheels are all together, so... That doesn't really bother me. Bits and pieces again, lots of ammunition. There are other little bits and pieces. I don't know what they are, but we'll find out as we build it. Nice again. So that's another sprue out the way. Uh, 
and then we go onto a, a little big sprue. Almost have we got another part of the interior. Oh, we have a uh, loose piece. Oh, that's a bit of four to edge. There's only a bit of four to edge. The grill, the grill covers, nice and thin. Go down nicely. A bit of the old uh, super glue. Keep an eye on that piece there. Uh, we have more interior, which again is all nicely detailed. Again, nothing wrong with that at all. Absolutely fantastic. No, nicely detailed. Quite clearly numbered as well, but sometimes you're struggling to see. Nice checker bot, checker plate again. On. Assume it's for the turret again. For sitting down. The bracing, obviously they have a brace, isn't it? That goes along the bottom of the tank. Sort of side to side, I should say. There again, nicely moulded. No flash. Injection marks are on the back where they should be, where you're not going to see them. Again, very happy indeed. So that's more of the interior. I shall uh, just put that to one side because I'll lose it otherwise. And then we have the sprue for the uh, upper deck and the rear. A uh, couple of the uh, engine grills. And the cable ties, they don't look too too bad actually, the cable ties. There's only a one, two, three, four, five things on there, so they should get that off quite easily. And then we have the uh, exhaust guards. I think I'll just do the same as I did with the last Tiger. I'll put a bit of uh, Mr. Surfacer on there, give it a bit of texture. There's the front plate for the uh, machine gun. Some more, another uh, cable. That's one along as I think it's for the tracks, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Track cable. And there's the rear. Only lots of things to be attached to that. And then we have the upper deck here in the front of the upper deck. There's lots of things to be added to that. The hatches at the front and all the other bits and pieces. And again for the uh, front of the tank as well. Nice weld seams on it again. Presume these are for the headlights, I presume, when they fit it up. There's like two on the early version, if I'm not mistaken. One each side. I think in the middle there version, I think they had the one just in the centre, just before the uh, where the driver's hatch is, sorry, the driver's vision, vision port is. Which just makes common sense, really, I suppose, because he's driving and he needs to see where he's going. But there again, nicely detailed, no problems with that at all, no flash. And what there is on the back is saying it's just the usual injection marks that you're never going to see. Very happy indeed with that. So that's a nose sprue. And then we get to everybody's favourite part. I don't mind them, to be perfectly honest, is the tracks. Right, so we have one, two, three, four. Four individual sprues with the tracks. There's a few injection marks on the actual inside. Uh, can see, can we quite see them? Not focus, you can see them there. This is a bit of a shame. It's going to take some time and patience to get them out, but we can't have everything. Apart from that, they're nicely detailed, and you know, the guide horns aren't uh, hollow, as they say. They're not bad, at the actual. The track on the front is quite nicely detailed. It's just a pity about the injection marks, but you know, we're, we, we'll, we have the technology to overcome it. We don't want everything too easy, do we? Very again, nicely moulded. 
just, it'll just take time and effort. But it'll come out fine. So there's time and effort. I'll do them, and it'll take a long time to do them. But things like this you can do when you're, uh, you know, just watching the TV or doing something on the computer. Just you know, take one off, take clip them all off, and then individually try and get them out with a thinny stick. Don't be too much of a problem. You may not need to take them all out. It really just depends on, uh, on what you want to do with the tracks. If you're going to heavily wear with them and mud all over them then you, you, it doesn't really matter. So there's always happy medium, whichever way you want to look at it. So that's that. And then we have the bag with the decals in. Just give us a couple of options, the usual sort of fair from Academy. Sometimes the transfers their stickers, decals or whatever you want to call them do sometimes have problems but I won't take them out of the bag but the only problem I've ever had with one was the T the German T34 that I did it that just would not stick but the other ones that I've built have gone on quite easy so I'll let's hopefully these two well, these ones will as well so they're quite nice hopefully so with a few bits and pieces of gumph of you know do's and don'ts and the usual sort of thing and at the bottom we have uh, the destructions I shall just move this box onto the floor for now which is in booklet form which is nice it's just a pity these aren't colour you know that would have made a bit of difference but it is it is uh, an oldish kit so can't have everything but yeah it's got the you know the call outs of what to glue what not to do cut drill how many and things like that and then the first, the first part obviously is we're starting off with the uh, suspension arms and things like that. Fairly clearly detailed, nicely broken down, not too much, you know, hitch you straight away. You, you know, you're gradually coming into it and then obviously we have the poly caps and the putting of the wheels together. And then Obviously attaching the wheels, which you can because it's poly caps, so you can actually attach them so you can pull them off when you're going to weather them and excuse me, paint the tank as normal. I'll give me a little diagram there telling which part actually goes into the um, on the suspension arm. And then we start off with the rear of the tank, wheel and the exhausts, uh, the exhaust covers, the uh, muck guards at the back, a couple of plates. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is. Little bits and pieces. And then again, it's telling you, in the, you know, sub how to put the uh, things together. Obviously, this is the one I think John was on about. He said he was, and it was a nightmare to do individual pins to put onto the um, exhaust top. So we shall have to be careful with those. A few small parts there. And then we have you know, more road wheels to attach, the rear to be attached, um, the... <sighs> Mine's gone dead again. Mine's gone dead. For the individuals, if you want to do the, uh, for the suspension, the um, torsion bars, that's the one, tor and here we go, torsion bars. And then we have the, uh, <coughs> picking of the fight, the air cleaners, which, uh, you know, they've got two versions, and then we've got the jack to be done. And it's giving you the two little picture on the bottom of um, each sort of air cleaner, which version you're going to do. Um, and then obviously we've got the engine, sort of the, the exhaust um, covers to go on, the jack, a few little bits and pieces, the uh, shackles. These are the parts for the, uh, for the piping, they go on the ends. And then by the look, we start with the engine. The Maybach HL210P45 engine, so it's just quite nicely detailed. There again, not too much in your face again, all broken down into individual pieces and shown, I think, really good, really nice. So that should go together quite nicely. And again, here with the uh, transmission, and again, all broken down nicely again, and then. Yeah, 
nicely detailed again. They say nice, nice and clean. I like, I like to see the nice clean instructions if you if you know what I mean. Just that instead of it all being sort of thrown at you in one go. And then obviously we have the um, the transmission of the engine and the um, crankshaft. And then it tells you again the colours that you need for the tops of the for the um, dashboard, if you want to call it, I suppose. And other bits and pieces. And then we have the uh, engine compartment firewall and the batteries. And obviously positioning where they're positioning the actual tank. Obviously gives it's giving you the colours of what they are before they're actually positioned inside. And part of the suspension arms again, I presume these are for the uh, yep. Yeah. Inside again for the interior, and then we have the ammo storage for the interior as well. And it's giving you a, a nice bit. I say it's, it's this is a picture, and it's a nice bit actual picture of the actual engine and transmission and the sprockets, you know, as they, as they go together. And then obviously, we replace all this inside the tank with the sprockets going onto there as well, and the ammunition cases. Going inside as well, so it's part nicely did this. I like the I like this how it's the different colours showing you exactly where it should go on the because the grey and the rest of it's white and it's just you know breaking it down for you. It's really nice. I do like that. I do like that indeed. And then we're still on the interior again. We have the radiators, um, and more ammo storage. Um, the light interior, um, giving you it's giving you the uh, cooling fans. It's giving you the colours as you're going along. Obviously, when you, before you put them in, I'll paint them before I put them in. Obviously, we have the uh, fire extinguisher. Yeah, flat red for certain things, and you know, for the ammo it'll be like brass. I would have presumed. Yeah. And there again, at the very bottom of the page again, it's giving you the uh, the complete. What it should look like when you've completed the interior, which to me looks fantastic. It's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of patience, but it can be done. And then we start on. I start off on the uh, upper hull, on the uh, yep, yeah, attaching the um, engine grills, uh, a few little bits and pieces onto the upper hull, and then the photo edge on top of the grills. And then we start on the hatches and the viewports, and then on the rear again for the fifles to the piping work to the fifles. Again, then we got the little bits and pieces, little clasps, open close position. You can obviously, if this is the, re, un, the underneath of the upper hull, so you've got a bracket that you can have them open or close. Obviously, these are going to be open because you want to see your work, what you've done inside. But I have an idea of how I would like to do this in my head, it's just getting it from my head to the desk of how I want to display this but I shall try my best <laughs> well, hopefully I will anyhow and then it says here oh, what's in it Tiger One Cutaway view drawing this is nice storage gas masks escape hatch fuse boxes spare periscope glock, glass blocks Ammunition, commander's seat, 88mm gun breech, gunner's seat, and there again at the bottom it's all I'm telling you big cutaways of what's actually in the tank as well, which is nice. All the periscopes, breathing hose, everything. Binoculars, turret power traverse motor, hydraulic traverse pedals, coaxles, toolbox, fire extinguishers, watering cans. I like that, that's quite nice, you can it's good reference that. You can look to where you are on that and actually know what the pieces are that you're actually putting on. Gas masks, that's what them little things are about, the gas masks. Shock absorbers for the suspension, a gyroscope, obviously yeah, they're fuel tanks like I did say. More storage for the 88mm armour, ammunition sorry. Instrument panel which I said before, yeah which is basically what I said, dashboard. Driver's wheel. Yeah, Henschel L600C steering unit, the transmission, disc brake drums, very nice, very nice indeed. I like that, that's good reference that, to see where you're going. And then we'll be carrying on again with the Pioneer tools, uh, the uh, jack block, 
things like attach the top and that's for the uh, five foot so obviously these are the uh, the engine and then we have the front fascia with the machine gun and other bits and pieces on the front yeah some of the colours and then obviously we have the uh, starting of the dreaded tracks <laughs> assemble the tread blocks against a straight edge as shown well that's fairly straightforward that we know how to do it so it'll clip together we'll see and just maybe a light yeah a light dab of glue as we're going along shouldn't be any any more difficult than any other tracks that you put together and then obviously we have the tow cables uh, tells you not to glue, or which is obviously is good because you're gonna you won't be able to see the interior. It's a point in gluing it. And then we put the pipe works onto the uh, air filters, air cleaner. Sorry, I'm getting near the end. He says well, quite a few pages yet, but and then finally we start the turret. So obviously we got the seat right, the seat for the uh, either commander or the gunner. And there again, putting things in here and the colours and things like that. Yeah, two seats, one for the gunner, one for the, the commander. And then we start on the outside of the turret with a smoke lot of smoke grenade launchers, other little bits and pieces, um, pistol port. And I've got a little cutaway there of the position of the. Can I work that out? I'll have to look into that more detail on that. And there again, carrying on with the with the right side and left side of the turret, putting all the bits and pieces into it. That's where they give me the um, you know the side view again of what's what's on each side of a turret, which is nice. And then we have the coaxial MG Tiger pedal or trigger trigger pedal. Obviously, this is for the uh, Biden of the eighty eight. And then we have the traverse motor. This is for the traverse for the uh, for the turret, and then watering cans again, obviously for the crew and obviously for the uh, tank itself. I would have thought more than likely for the the tank. And there again, carrying on with the uh, the foot plate for the top of the turret for the turret. A little bit the watering cans, transmission, and all that kind of stuff together. Can you uh, a, a view of it looking down at it position wise of the. Uh, Checker plate where everything's going to be aligned to. You know, we got the watering cans there, the transmission, or the fire ring extinguisher, little bits and pieces, and then we're starting up a building the uh, the muzzle. That's quite intense again. Coming back and building it up gradually, gradually to the uh, the breech, and then again, it's giving you the colours as it's going along, which is nice. And then we got the rest of the. Uh, for each of the gun and then we have the actual gun on the outside put together that's very straightforward and then we have a couple of spare tracks on top of the uh, main turret again and connecting the two turrets to get the two sides of the turret and the basket together and there again it's giving you another picture of what it should look like which is quite nice and then we have the commander's cupola made with quite a few pieces broke down and then I presume this is the uh, Gunner's hatch, a few little hatch covers with the uh, handles and locking wheels. Right, nice again. And then we have the storage bin, Put, attaching the storage bin, the couplers to the, uh, the turret, some other little bits and pieces to the top of the turret, and then attaching the turret to the lower upper hull. And we have the sides, the fenders put on there for the tools. And that's the assembly finished. Then you've got, got the colour call out for the second SS Panzer Division Das Reich and Kursk 1943. Uh, we also have the first 